Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today we're diving into a hot topic that's been setting social media ablaze, Jay-Z's role in the Super Bowl halftime show selection, and why fans are fuming over Kendrick Lamar's 2025 performance. Buckle up as we break down the drama and get into the heart of this controversy. So here's the scoop. Last week, the big news dropped that Kendrick Lamar will headline the 2025 Super Bowl halftime show in New Orleans. That's right, Kendrick, not the NOLA native Lil Wayne, who many fans were rooting for. And as you can guess, the backlash was swift and fierce. Now, a lot of the anger has been directed at Jay-Z. Some fans are blaming him for not picking Lil Wayne. But here's the inside scoop. According to Hollywood executive Jesse Collins, Jay-Z is indeed the final decision maker for the Super Bowl halftime show. Collins, who's been the executive producer for the show since 2021, confirmed in an interview with Variety that Jay has made every decision on performers and that it's always been spot on. Collins even gave a shout out to Lil Wayne, saying he's a huge fan and that Kendrick's show is going to be amazing. This revelation has caused quite a stir especially because Nicki Minaj has been vocal about her displeasure. She accused Jay-Z of ego-driven decisions and suggested that his choice was a dig at Drake. Minaj's comments were fiery, implying that Jay's personal grudges against other artists like Drake and Birdman might be influencing these big decisions. Nicki didn't hold back. She called out Jay-Z's alleged motivations, even bringing up past controversies related to his partnership with the NFL. She was frustrated saying that Wayne deserved the spotlight and blaming Jay for the snub. Her comments included some strong language and pointed critiques about Jay's business dealings and supposed spitefulness. But it's not just Nicki Minaj who's feeling this way. Cameron, another prominent figure in hip-hop, weighed in too. He hinted that there's someone within the Super Bowl organization who might be holding a grudge against Lil Wayne, connecting it back to the ongoing tension between Wayne's camp and Jay-Z's network. Cameron suggested that the snub might be personal revenge, pointing to past issues between Lil Wayne and the people running the show. He's not naming names, but it's clear that there's a lot of speculation and frustration bubbling up from this decision. So what does this all mean? Jay-Z's decision-making power has been confirmed, and it's clear that the choice of Kendrick Lamar over Lil Wayne has sparked some serious debate and anger. Whether or not you agree with the decision, one thing's for sure. The drama around the Super Bowl halftime show is as intense as ever. That's it for today's deep dive. What do you think about Jay-Z's role in the Super Bowl halftime show decision? Are you Team Kendrick or Team Lil Wayne? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update from the Red Carpet Reup.